Princess Cirilla is your own destiny. I can't protect her. If you dismiss it, get out! You will unleash true calamity upon us all. The Witcher Season 1. So The Witcher is a Netflix original show which is based off the book and video game series, The Witcher. The story of it is you have, it's The Witcher, he is played by Henry Cavill. And you know, it's great to see Henry Cavill in some other things because... He needs to get another shot to play Superman because he was great at Superman. But what I really liked about the show was his performance of the sh was. I mean, the Witcher character is so different from anything I've ever seen Henry Cavill do, do. And I thought he was very terrific in this show. So, The Witcher, it's a fantasy type show where it's kind of, it does kind of like a multiple timeline type story where we kind of were diverging to one storyline toward, the, I guess, the next season or so forth. I guess, I mean, I can't believe they would do another multiple timeline story next season, but you never know. So, I think a lot of the problem with this show is, I think if it would have been honest and tells you basically at the beginning that it was a multiple timeline, it would have maybe helped me enjoy it a little more. I mean, I heard that going into to it that it everything you see does not mean it happens in the events that you see on the screen. And that's fine every day, and I like what they did. My problem with the show is, I thought, I wish it would have delved more into the world of The Witcher. I mean, we see bits and pieces of it throughout the show, but when I watch a fantasy show from show, game, movie, if it's Dragon Age, is it Game of Thrones, if it's Lord of the Rings, I want to be invested in this world. I want to. I want. I want to become easy to me. And I felt like some of the world we got out of The Witcher was a little. Was just was a little complicated, and I didn't really know anything about the the world I lived in in this show than I did when I walked into it. Because you know, like when you watch Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones, you know automatically Westeros, King's Landing, Winterfell. Rohan, Gondor, Hogwarts, I mean, those are the fantasy shows which makes it easy to remember. This one, it, it's more about the character stuff and everything, and that's fine. Also, there's some, the action in this show is great. I will say the choreography for the, the sword fighting is amazing. And like I said, all the performances are very decently good in it. I really liked, I really liked the girl who played Yennefer. I thought she was probably the standout, really. And I, the the girl who basically becomes an all-powerful mage. And the whole story of it is is that you have this girl, Ciri, who is the princess, who, who holds this ancient power. Something's going, something weird's going on with her. And she has to find her destiny with Geralt. And it is a, this was a very interesting show to watch. I very much enjoyed it. Uh, I'm curious more for season two. I mean, I'm curious where they're going, what direction they're going with it. But overall, this was a decent first season. It was, it's not a show that blew me away. It's not one where I was just like, I stood up all night watching it. It took me about, it took me about a week to finish it. I watched about an episode a day. So I enjoyed the show. It's worth binging, but it's not one of those where I'll... I will go back and watch the season over again. But I will watch season two when it comes out. So guys, have you seen The Witcher or your dogs? Comment below. Let me know. And guys, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button, subscribe to see more, tell your friends about Easy Nation. All too easy. <laughs>